Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to yesterday's trick, the one with the blank deck. This was just a variation on a trick I showed you a couple of days ago, maybe a week or so ago. So what you're going to need is one card you're going to force and then a completely blank deck. Now this is not 52 cards, it doesn't need to be a full 52 deck if you haven't got 52 blank cards but you will need to force one card. And the way I forced it was this card stays on the bottom. So when the deck is round this way, in the process of spreading the deck like this and riffling down, as you're riffling, you're gonna push this card underneath. So as you're riffling, you're just gonna slide that card underneath until it's in this position. So no matter where the spectator stops, you're going to pull out these cards. Now I did flash a little bit in performance. You're going to be holding on to the bottom card look. So when you square all this up and say, remember the bottom card, you'll show them the nine of spades. So it's going to start on the bottom. You're going to spread through. And as you're riffling down the side, showing them what you're going to do, you're going to push this card over on the bottom. So no matter where they call out stop, when you square this packet up, you will show them your force card. Um, what I did have in performance as well, which I forgot to do here, because this is the Gaff Academy after all, I've got a crimped card somewhere. Now this is a bit of a scruffy deck, look, there are quite a few different crimps in it from older cards. So let me see if I can find that crimp. It's hard to find it in an old deck. So let's start out then. Crimp card, face down, you're going to crimp it, crimp card on the top, fan through, push that card over as you're showing them what to do, you've pushed it over, call out stop right here, pull all these cards out, square the deck up, show them the fourth card, the nine of spades. Right, we're going to cut that nine into the middle, so cut the deck, drop in the fourth card on top of the crimp, and then you can put all these into the pack, and then at some point when you get the cards back you will find your crimp, Cut at the crimp, put in the crimp back on the top, which puts spectator's card back on the bottom, which is where you want it. You'll now make three roughly even piles. Now, one thing you do need to be mindful of, if you haven't got a 452 deck, you do need some cards in this packet, because you've got to spell out your card is the. And I'm not sure how many letters that is, but you're going to need a few cards. You're going to do a magician's choice when the spectators, you're going to say point to two cards. If they point to these two, this is your packet. Right, we'll get rid of this one. Just put your hand on a packet. Let's say they put the hand on this packet. Right, we'll keep this one. Get rid of this one. Whatever you're going to do, you're just going to force this packet, which has got your force card on the bottom. You'll now just go through the process of spelling out your Y-O-U-R card, C-A-R-D, is i s v t h e drop the remaining cards see i told you you've got to spell out quite a few cards so you need a few in your hand and then get your spectator to either name their card or any card in the deck it does not matter this trick works 100 percent of the time no matter what card is called out let's say they say the five of diamonds now you don't know or they think you don't know what their card is so it makes no difference so spell out five of diamonds F-I-V-E-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S. Drop the remainder down. And now just spell out your card is the once more. Y-O-U-R-C-A-R-D-I-S-T-H-E. And this is the final card. You can get rid of this packet now. Place it over here. And reveal the chosen card by the spectator is in fact the nine of spades now at this point they will think bloody hell that is a good trick but the kicker is the fact that there's nothing else here it's a completely blank deck so that is the trick guys hope that tutorial was clear enough and make sure you're subscribed to the gaft academy um, make sure to smash the like button and come back tomorrow for another card trick cheers